Hey guys, Lee here. Thought I would bring you a beginner's guide to Hex. So, I was in the Kickstarter for this. My friends have started playing, so I decided to restart and um, get all my cards and Kickstarter rewards because I hadn't opened any. These are all the buttons. So, you're going to have your options. It's going to be resume, settings, and then that's just going to be like audio and video. And, uh,. Help your collection, where you're going to be able to sort through your cards, look at your decks. If ever it loads, the client is a bit slow. There we go. So these are your shards, you're going to use them to play cards. I'm not going to explain the rules, they're, they're a lot of overlap with magic, although there is enough to make it its own game. Um, go over here, your gold, this is your in-game currency, you're going to use that to buy some of the less expensive cards usually or I guess if you want to save up long enough you can buy you can buy some of the crazy expensive cards uh, here we have platinum platinum is one platinum is about one penny when you go to the store and buy it this is the premium currency you can use this to open packs and start X, pay for drafting and uh, sealed formats which is what I like to do it's fun inventory stash is where you're gonna be collecting a whole bunch of equipment and stuff you'll get all of this equipment you can get from opening chests, which aren't that hard to get, or from the campaign, which you'll just be getting a lot. Mercenaries are not in the game yet, so don't worry about these. Um, VIP membership, um, you can you can pay a certain amount to get a, a free chest a week for a certain amount of time. I have VIP entry tickets for tournaments. Chests you get from opening packs, and then you can spend them on like a slot machine to get random rewards if you want to spend gold doing that. Stardust is really cool, it's used to unlock full art cards. Um, full art cards are worth a whole lot more, but they are nice, they're cool to pimp out your deck. Next we have the auction house, which is where kind of your late game is going to be. It's where you're going to be looking at legendary cards and you can cheapest buyout only. So you can see the cheapest legendary cards are 50 cents. And I think that's the lowest they can get, but some have cool abilities like Angel of Glory. We got, you gotta have three white to play him, seven. Quit Troop, meaning you can play him at any time. Avatar of Salvation is his creature type. Five attack, five health. Red is legendary or mythic. And then it shows you the set. One uh, means it's like a PvE card from the first uh, campaign set. Light when it enters play, put all non Avatar troops in your crypt that died this turn into play. And if you have three red when it or three white when a troop you control dies, if this is the top card of your deck, put this into play. It's all right. Um, I think there are equipments for it, but I can't see them. So next we have the store, which is where, as a new player, you're gonna want to rush here. You're gonna be like, "Ooh, I want to buy. I want to buy something. I want to want to get a head start." And that's usually where where people are gonna go. Not always, but a lot. Um, down here you're going to have your VIP membership, if you want to buy a VIP membership, you can see it'll give you packs and such every week. Um, the starter decks are right here. If you're new to deck building, this is what you would want to buy, although you are not going to get your money's worth as far as value for the cards. That being said, a starter deck is 5 bucks. Also, one thing, uh, in physical card games, resources like this... For new players, you're limited by the amount of resources you have. Hex is going to give you 200 cards plus, I think, 200 of each resource. Each of the starting resources, I should say. And then, it's not really worth buying the rest of these. So we have the, uh, the booster packs. Shards of Fate, the first set. Shattered Destiny is the second set. Armies of Myth is the third set. And Primal Dawn is the most recent, although I don't know why it has the new banner. It's been out for a while. Um, I feel like Armies of Myth was the least opened. Um, it is a fun set. Um, I, I That's what I opened when I first started, just because I like the idea of myth, like mythological creatures like chimeras and gorgons and that kind of thing. That's just what I would like in my lore. Um, I was let down as far as that goes, but the cards I got were sweet, so... It pushed me towards this really, really good red-white deck that started me off. And I did get Armies of Myth, that cover card. You, that is an actual card. Primal Dawn has a lot of staples people are using. Like cards you have to use on your deck. 
the money is not quite there but there's just so many value commons and uncommons and even rares not as many legendaries um, of value though shattered destiny i think has the most legendaries and rares over ten dollars which is why i open it i like it just because there's a good chance to get my value and usually those cards are playable and really strong um shards of fate the first set has the second most expensive card in the game it is vampire king it goes for i think fifty dollars right now uh brandon found out he had two and now he is selling them to try to open more packs so congrats to him um the most expensive card in the game is spectral oak you can't actually play it it gives you a free copy of a card every day and that card is spectral acorn which if you've ever played magic it has a similar effect to black lotus where it just zero zero energy get three energy and draw a card it's really strong but it is pve only because pay to win versus players with a with an effect like that is just not fun for anyone so we're gonna have these buttons here the store we just looked at collection we have looked at there's also there's two collection buttons card collection collection they're the same thing tournaments is uh is where experienced players are usually gonna go you can see I've lost um, one on an evolving sealed, which that sucks, but it happens. Here is um, where basic uh, games are going to be played. Special is, um, I, I don't know what the context is for special. All I've seen are Primal Dawn games, so I'm guessing it has to do Primal Dawn only or something like that. Um, completed is things that have been completed. Uh, special will also have VIP tournaments whenever those pop up. I think those pop up on the weekends. So you can get in uh, drafts with VIP tickets, that kind of thing. So we're going to skip over the Frost Ring Arena for now and then go to the campaign. Uh, you're going to have a, an option to start. You're going to be able to choose your uh, created champion. And you're going to have to run through the, the tutorial, which it sucks. It's five battles. You'll get through it. And then you get to choose like human or orc or shin hair or coyote, that kind of thing. And then your class and you have talents and that kind of thing. So as you win, you'll get gold, experience, and cards. And with enough experience, your character will level up and you can look at your talents. So you can see this is my cleric. This is the, the basic ability of the cleric. Then you have, I start with three health, which is, it's all right, it's not great. And then next up, I begin the game with a healing aura in play, which is whenever I play a resource, I gain a life, which I really like. And then my healing auras have, at the start of my turn, move each blessing in my deck up one space. And blessings are zero energy, draw a card, gain two life. So it's just free life gain, essentially. And then also down here I have the Righteous Path. I begin a game with Monument of Faith, which gives all my creatures steadfast, which means they don't tap when attacking, which is really nice. So you can see the campaign. I have completed it on this character. It'll take you almost to level 8, uh, although humans get like a 3% experience boost or something like that. It's not that big of a deal. This is just the first chapter of the campaign. What is this? I haven't done that yet. I need to go do that. But the I have a, I have beaten the final boss. So. Um, there's a, these guys give you like free cards. This is like a town. And uh, yeah. So lastly, we're going to take a look at the Frost Ring Arena. Which, once you're done with the campaign, even if you've run through it a couple times, this is going to be your bread and butter. This is what you're going to be grinding out to get your gold, uh, sure. You get to choose from all these decks. Uh, only like three of them are cards or decks I've created. Others are like starter decks. And you're gonna run through, you're gonna fight five guy, four guys and then a boss, and then four guys and a boss. And this is PVE. Uh, you get to use your PVE only cards. You get to use equipment, which is PVE only. And every win you get 100 or 200 gold. Then when you beat the boss, you get another, an extra pouch of gold and, and some boss only loot, which is awesome. Uh, sh no, I'll play that out at some point. Um, well, guys, I think that's going to be it for me. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you on Hex. Peace.